Hello there, buds. This is my video reply to your 100 sub contest called My First Car. Some housekeeping. I'm smoking on my first ever corn cob, Missouri Merchant Legend, some W.O. Larson. Ah, an amazing aromatic. That's set. Well, I got my first car as uh, many people out there when I was 16 and it was no Ford Mustang, it was no Mercedes, no Audi, no Porsche. To my big disgrace it was an Opel Astra, <laughs> yeah, an Opel Astra 1600cc made in 1992. I wasn't too bad, I wasn't too old because the year was 1997 at that time. And uh, I got it during the summer break, uh, around a month before uh, we went back to school. So, I remember uh, my father telling me, he says, I pay for your food, I pay for your clothes, I pay for your education, but I also paid because he also paid for my car. But he said, I'm not paying for the gas. He says, get yourself a job and pay for your own gas because I'm not paying for your gas. Now, Me, not working at the time, I had to save a lot of money that my parents would give to me. You know, to get some gas. I had to cut a lot from the cigarettes that I used to smoke in order to have money <laughs> for the gas. Or sometimes me and friends would all gather, you know, the money and that would, uh, you know, uh, or gas into that car, you know, and go out and trips or uh, whatever. And uh, I don't remember the movie that it was showing at cinemas at the time. But it was some uh, action movie that me and all my friends went to watch. And you know, when you're 16, you're young, you're strong, you're crazy. You're my father says. And I went there, saw the movie, we came back, and then you have a car, you don't really care if it's a good or a fast or a strong car, you just got a car. And if you like doing some same stunts, that you see the professional actors doing in the movie. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at you the funny part. Uh, so what I did is, we watched that movie, it was an awesome action movie, I forgot the name, a long time ago. And I go back home, and I'm sitting there during the whole evening, and I was just laying in my bed like that, and thinking, hey, I could do that, you know, I could do this, I could make that sharp turn and everything. So. Next morning, wake up real early, like around 5 o'clock in the morning, and I call this good friend of mine on the phone, his name was Albert, and I go, yo buddy, and he says, who's that, and I go, it's me dude, wake up, and I says, it's 5 o'clock in the morning, why should I wake up, and I go, come on, let's go for a spin, and I want to try and do some stunts, and he says, what stunts? And I go, driving, man, come on, let's try some of those things we saw in the movie last night. And without hesitation, he says, yeah, give me just two minutes, let me just dress up. I'm waiting for him over, he comes, uh, 
at my house. The sun still didn't even rise. <laughs> and uh, we take the car and we go out. The roads are clean. There's hardly a car passing by. I mean, five o'clock in the morning. And we go there and say, okay, let's do this. And we started by adding some gas, doing some small sharp turns and using the handbrake a little. And after you've done that successfully for one to two times, then you gain that stupid confidence. <laughs> so, I remember doing this, I go first gear, okay, second gear, okay, I say, well, let's take it a bit higher. <laughs> and I'm there, third gear. And I say, okay, you see the street, it was at a straight angle degree. And I said, I want to try to enter that street <laughs> using the handbrake. So, I go there and I'm like building up speed. And then when I come close to the street, I make a sharp turn left, pull the handbrake. <laughs> and yeah, the vehicle starts spinning. <laughs> but being such a small and a light vehicle, I mean, it's just. It's an Opel Astra, 1,600 cc, <laughs> and the vehicle spins more than it should, and I end up hitting this light post <laughs> that was at the corner of the street. <clears throat> the vehicle, oh boy, you should see the damage in that. Wow. And this dream of mine driving with a vehicle the first day at the new school year, ah, kind of fades away because the vehicle had to remain in the car shop, in the repair shop for about 10 days or so. And the other bad thing when I went there is like, other guys turned 16 and other guys got their driving license and got their cars. And I remember going there seeing guys driving like Nissan Skylines and Honda CRX and BMWs and I go, what the hell am I going to do, you know, going to school with an old class? <laughs> I didn't drive that car like 10 times perhaps during the whole school year because I was so ashamed, you know, people seeing me driving an old class. <laughs> Had the car for about two years and uh, after that I sold it I because uh, I got a job after that. I sold the car, I added some more money, and I got myself a Honda CRX was my second vehicle. But yeah, that was my first vehicle and the first story that happened just a few days after I got it. Thank you, buddy. Happy smokes, and see ya. Bye.